Hello everyone, my name is Mustafa Yunus Aryaman. I am the president of the World Educational Research Association. It's an honor for me to speak with you virtually at the International Forum on Teacher Education. I am pleased to see the continuous effort of Kazan Federal University to gather educational researchers around the world at the forum. I would like to congratulate Ishat Kafuro, the rector of Kazan Federal University, and his team for hosting International Forum on Teacher Education both on campus and online. Today, uh, the title of my presentation is Teacher Education in Complex and Uncertain Times Towards a Phonetic Teacher Education. Before starting my presentation, I would like to introduce you two books that, uh, that are relevant to the today's speech. The first book that I published is Teaching as Practical Philosophy. The second one that I edited is International Handbook of Edu Progressive Education. The first book, Teaching as Practical Philosophy, came out of my dissertation. The book introduces a multi-dimensional teacher education model based on Gadamer's philosophical hermeneutics and Habermas' critique of and contribution to it. The book challenges prevalent conceptions of phronesis and proceeds to offer new directions for further reconstruction of theory and practice of reflective teaching. The book emphasizes three important concepts of phonetic teaching, teaching as situated cultural activity, teaching as a social, political, moral, and practical accomplishment, and teaching as a deliberative and action-oriented critical process. The book also provides case examples of phonetic teacher education. Therefore, if you are interested in uh, learning about the practical examples of phonetic teacher education, please read the book. The second book, that I would like to talk about is International Handbook of Progressive Education. I edited this book with Professor Dr. Bertrand Bus from the University of Illinois Urban Champaign. The book explored the past, present, and future conceptions of progressive education. Um, at the beginning of the book, we start with the five, six important phonetic questions. The first question was Who are we as human beings? Where are we going with democracy? What is our vision of good life and ideal society? Who gains and who loses and by which mechanisms of power in our vision? Is this development desirable? What if anything should we do about it? The book consists of five sections, 47 chapters and 833 pages. 64 uh, academicians from 21 countries participated in the book project. And they provided the case examples of progressive education and for teacher education in their respected local contexts. Today, I am going to talk about two important con concepts relevant to the phonetic tissue education. The first one is complexity, second one is phronesis. When we look at the literature, there are 18 characteristics of complex learning systems. As you can see in the screen, uh, the most important ones are uh, complex systems are nonlinear systems. They focus on diversity, networking, organizational learning, communication, and they are holistic systems and dynamic. And we generally see distributed control in these systems. And when we look at the teacher education programs, we see that teacher education program demonstrates similar characteristics of complex learning systems. The main characteristics of teacher education programs can be listed as follows. First, sensitivity to the initial condition. Second, disequilibrium. Third, unpredictability. Fourth, a non-hierarchical network structure. Fifth, feedback loops. Sixth, a capacity of self-organization and self-regulation. Seven, an asset structure. Eight, diversity. And nine, decentralized control. And when I theorized the phonetic teacher education, the second concept that needs to be discussed was phronesis. Phronesis of practical wisdom, according to the Aristotle, refers to an inquiry's capacity to discern what is worth doing together with the ability to get it done, a reason true state of capacity to act with regard to human goods. Practical wisdom differs from theoretical wisdom by a conclusion in human action. In the first place, the end of practice is not produce an art object or artifact, but to realize some morally worthwhile good. And 
when we, from these two important concepts, I developed the forensic teacher education model. Forensic teacher education is a post-foundational theory of teaching practice that puts ontological and practical issues of self and human agency at center stage and describes teaching practice as a political, ideological, gender, sexual, racial, transformative, social, discursive, engaged, indigenous, lived, and performed practice. This multidimensional view emphasizes and improves the shared nurture of reflective teaching through three important concepts. The first one is straight cultural activity. Second one is teaching as a social, political, moral, and practical accomplishment. The third one is teaching as a deliberative and action-oriented critical process. And here are the dimensions of forensic teacher education model that I developed. And today we are going to discuss four main concepts of phronetic teacher education. The first concept is ethics. A forensic teaching is first an ethics of judgment. It's also characterized as ethical know-how. It's a theory of good judgment relevant to the every instance of reflection and teaching. It's a kind of knowledge that is embedded in praxis and distinguishable from technical knowledge guaranteed by methods. Practical knowledge is not acquired in making some kind of product or solving some kind of problem disconnected from teacher's way of being in the world. Rather, it's an existential accomplishment. It involves a social, moral, political understanding that is not required in technical view of teaching and teacher education. Technique requires clever applications of skills. Practical wisdom, phronesis requires understanding. Teaching as practical philosophy is not a cognitive capacity that one can use at one's choosing but a way of knowing bound up with who we are and what we want to become. It's a particularly related to the question of human goodness. The notion of caring plays an important role in understanding of ethical dimension of practice teacher education. To care as a teacher is to be ethically bound to understand one's students. Practically wise teachers teaching is enhanced by ethics of care attitude towards education, which involves taking a question pondering democratic perspective on personal and public values of teaching and teaching learning. Teachers seek out opportunities to dialogue with students, colleagues, and societies. The second concept and second characteristics is deliberative excellence. Practical wisdom is variously identified as a wisdom, wise judgment, or deliberative excellence. Shivant indicated that deliberation means choosing a course of action and defending the wine's choice by means of practical argument that is concrete, temporal, and refers to actual events. Deliberative excellence in teaching and teacher education is not a monological act, it's dialogic in nature. The rule in deliberative teaching is that the one first, the one the other person might be right, and that one takes the reasoning of the other person seriously. The possibility that one might be wrong or might learn something from me from the conversation is not a risk, but a gain. But man, one must be open to the other com in conversation. This is what Gadamer and Dewey called openness. It's an ethical ethics of rightly understanding a topic or situation and working to change it if it's wrong. If teachers and pre-service teachers do not question the goals, values, and assumptions that guide their work, they do not examine the context in which they teach, then they are not engaged in good deliberative teaching. The third concept is poetics. This artistic ability of making good educational judgments can be identified as the poetics of practical reasoning in teacher education. The poetic ability invokes images of creative, inventive, imaginative teaching and teacher education. According to the Schwant, the use of the term poetics in intended to signal a sharp contrast with epistemology. It indicates that practical reasoning is more art than science. Within the traditional paradigm that dominates most teacher education programs for a century, the domain of aesthetics often overshadowed in the bright light of more scientific considerations. Dewey, Jackson, and Eisner, and others remind us that powerful experiences are inherently aesthetics in nature. Aesthetic qualities such as beauty, rhythm, and the integration of sight and sound have everything to do with the power and meaning of an experience. The teacher's ability to make critical and ethical distinctions and judgments in the field of teacher education has become more important than ever. 
Eisner believes that teaching is an art in the sense that teaching can be performed with a such skills and grace that for the students as well as the, for the teacher, the experience can be justifiably characterized as aesthetical. The aesthetic quality of experience can be witnessed in the dialogical taking place between the teacher and his or students. Artistically and practically wise teachers, teachers are masterful at conceiving, planning, executing lessons with unusual imagination and brilliance. Artistic wisdom in the classroom is more than motivation and dramatization. It's an extraordinary level of performance bred out of personal commitment, which elevates the state of the art. And the final characteristics dimension of forensic teacher education is critical reflexivity. Traditionally, the relationship between phronesis and critical reflection has been identified in terms of communicative and social democratic practice. From one perspective, theorists articulate critical knowledge as a means for transmitting the deliberation of the practically and critically wise teacher and teacher educators to students and pre-service teachers. From this angle, the phronesis critical knowledge relationship is negotiated by addressing the practical questions of how well the teacher educators might share their excellence, excellent deliberation and lead the public through transformative revolutionary consensus. Critical knowledge in this view refers to ability to move an audience to democratically informed practice. From another perspective, critical knowledge promotes rather than transmits critical deliberation. And both critical knowledge and practical reasons Reasoning aims to persuade students and pre-service teachers about the rightness of a decision while considering the issues of social justice, equality, and freedom. These characteristics of phronesis and phronetic teacher education should not be seen as a hierarchical layers or levels, but rather as forming a multi-dimensional approach depicting the third terrain of teacher education, therefore its discourse. This multi-dimensional approach first is occupied by pro-service teachers' social and cultural backgrounds, their material reality, and their actions. In this approach, pro-service teachers must have a chance to explore their beliefs and pre-understandings about teaching and being a good teacher at both local and global contexts, through a study of practices or beliefs in the local school communities and in other foreign um, contexts. These characteristics of teacher education programs as complex systems challenges the conventional teacher-directed textbook-based positivist approaches in teacher education literature, which has tried to reduce the complexities and ambiguities of life in teacher education programs to something knowable, measurable, and controllable. Phonetic teacher education, on the other hand, suggests that teachers and pre-service teachers ought to be less instrumental than narrow, rather than thinking of teaching and learning as prescriptive and sequential, they could understand it as a web of progressive and transformative possibilities, where their responsibility is to allow learners to develop their own connections, insights through shared complex learning activities. When teaching and learning process is constructed in this way, it is the interaction among teachers, learners, and ideas that drive learning forward, what complex theory identifies as the principle of net networked complex interactions. If you would like to get more information about the phonetic teacher education and its characteristics, please look at these uh, references. Thank you very much for listening to me and wishing you a, a fruitful uh, conference. Thank you.